Oh. 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 Good morning, Mr. Cooper. <clears throat> Damn it. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. Oh, no. Mr. Cooper, I believe your shift at the lab starts at 9 a.m., not 9.01. Not 902, and certainly not 909. What are you doing here? Haven't you heard? I'm your new boss. None You're the new chief of staff? You're Britt's mother. You're saying I can't be both? A woman, a mother, can't head hospital? No, of course not. I would never say anything remotely like that. Good, since I'm here to stay. While I have you here, we might as well go over my notes for you. Your notes? Surely you would expect nothing less from a new chief of staff. I have assessed your management of the lab. Inefficient would be a generous word, not to mention all the security holes. You didn't seem to mind those security holes when you stole Dante and Lulu's embryos and implanted them in your daughter. How dare you? You will never bring that up again, here of all places. Need I remind you we both stand to lose a great deal if that comes out? I will assure that this is a secret you take to your grave. Hey. Leave him alone. I understand. This doesn't concern you, Nurse Dubois. How I run my hospital is none of your business. Yeah, something tells me that HR might disagree. They might even call this a hostile work environment. Very well. Remember to be more punctual next time, Mr. Cooper. Yes, Doctor. Thanks for the safe. Don't worry about it. Really? I mean, we kind of mixed it up the other day. I'm surprised you've been speaking to me. I should have said this before now. I'm sorry. Can we talk somewhere in private? Uh, sure. What'd you need to tell me in private? You're right. I tend to butt into situations that don't concern me. Yeah, but you worked to my advantage just now. Yeah, but I gotta learn to pick my battles. I had no right telling Patrick Sabrina's private business or to go off on you about yours. I'm not saying lying for Brit was right, but I'm not without sin myself. So I'll stop casting stones if you can accept my apology. What do you say? Can you forgive me? Well, thank you. Don't feel too guilty. I'm certainly no saint. Done plenty of bad things recently. I mean, the only good I've managed is getting you to be my friend. Brad. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe friend is pushing it, but at least you cared enough to take on an Obrecht for me. I was happy to do that. And I hope we are friends. You think you can look past all the reasons you should stay away from me? Maybe I don't want to stay away anymore. For a while there, I thought we were on our way to, to, uh, to what? To something more. I mean, we never quite made it there, but not for a lack of trying on your part. So maybe I had to try too. What do you mean? Why don't you and I go on a date? I'm not a You're serious? So is that a yes? Yes, it's a yes. <laughs> That's a relief. I I gotta go. Uh, the Bratchis is gonna notice if I'm out at my station. I get off of work at eight. I'll meet you in the parking lot. Um, you pick the place. It's a date. All right. Good morning, Dr. Westmore. What did you just say? No Dr. West Nile? No Wicked Witch of the Westmore? Not even a bridge? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in too good a mood for name calling today.